Have you ever wondered why bees die after they sting you? It sounds like something out of a bizarre nature thriller. A tiny insect bravely stabs you with its stinger, only to perish moments later. But why? What's the science behind this suicidal strike? Today in this video, we're diving deep into one of nature's strangest mysteries. This isn't just about bee stings, it's about sacrifice, evolution, and the jaw-dropping power hidden in a creature the size of your fingernail. Here's what's coming. By the end of this journey, you'll not only understand exactly why honeybees die after stinging you, you'll walk away with powerful storytelling frameworks, unforgettable facts, and a fresh respect for one of the planet's most misunderstood heroes. Whether you're a beginner hungry for answers or a science buff seeking updated 2025 insights, get ready. You're about to uncover the shocking truth behind one of nature's most tragic superpowers. One, the anatomy of a sting. Let's begin with the basics. The honeybee stinger isn't just a needle, it's a complex biological weapon. It evolved from what was originally an ovipositor, a structure used for laying eggs. Over time, worker bees, who are sterile females, transform this tool into a defensive device. Their stinger consists of a central shaft flanked by two barbed lancets that look like tiny hooks. When a honeybee stings, those barbs embed themselves into the skin of the victim, usually a mammal. And here's where things get gnarly. Unlike wasps or bumblebees, whose stingers are smooth and can be reused, the honeybee's barb stinger is like a one-way ticket. Once it's in, it doesn't come out cleanly. As the bee tries to fly away, the stinger stays stuck. But it doesn't come out alone, it tears out part of the bee's abdomen with it. That's right, the stinger, venom sac, digestive tract, muscles, and even parts of the bee's nervous system get ripped from its body. It's as if pulling the stinger is pulling the plug on the bee's life. Two, nature's self-destruct mechanism. The term for this gruesome biological act is autotomy and animal sacrificing part of its body to escape or defend. You've probably seen lizards drop their tails. For bees, the price is higher. When the stinger lodges into thick-skinned mammals like humans, the bee's body literally pulls itself apart trying to escape. What's remarkable is that this isn't a design flaw. In fact, it's a deliberate evolutionary trade-off. Evolution favored this gruesome defense because it increases the chance that enough venom will be injected to fend off a threat. That venom sac continues pumping even after the bee is dead. Think about that. A dying bee leaves behind a tiny venom delivery system that keeps working without her. She doesn't survive, but her colony does. This mechanism is so effective that even though she dies, she might stop a bear, skunk, or careless hiker from messing with her sisters ever again. Three, the stinger that keeps giving. Once the stinger is embedded, the magic and tragedy continues. The venom sac left behind has its own reflexive nervous system. It continues pumping venom into the victim's skin for several minutes. It's like the bee leaves behind a tiny biological syringe that's set on auto-inject. Researchers have clocked this venom pump delivering its payload well after the bee is long gone. In fact, the longer the stinger remains in your skin, the more venom you'll receive, which is why it's critical to remove it as soon as possible. Don't pinch it, scrape it sideways with a fingernail or credit card. Pinching might squeeze more venom in. It's wild to think about. Even after death, the bee's final act continues, potentially delivering a more potent sting than a living insect could. It's one of nature's most fascinating examples of self-sacrifice. Four. Do all bees die after stinging? Here's where the common myth falls apart. Not all bees die after stinging. In fact, most don't. Of the more than 20,000 known bee species, only about eight specifically within the genus Apis honeybees possess the barb stinger that gets them killed. Bumblebees, they sting and survive. Carpenter bees, same. Wasps and hornets, absolutely they can sting repeatedly. The honeybee is nature's tragic exception. And it gets even more interesting. Some bees, like stingless bees, don't sting at all. Instead, they bite. That's right. There are entire families of bees out there that have evolved to defend themselves with their jaws instead of their stingers. So next time someone tells you bees die when they sting, you can say, well, some do, but not all. The honeybee is the Shakespearean heroine of the bee world noble 
brave, and doomed. Five, why did bees evolve to die after stinging? Here's the million dollar question. Why would evolution select for a defense mechanism that kills the defender? Isn't that counterproductive? On the surface, yes, but zoom out and look at the hive. Honeybees are eusocial insects, meaning the survival of the colony is more important than any one individual. Worker bees don't reproduce, they protect and serve the queen, who does. So evolution doesn't care if the worker survives, what matters is whether the hive does. By sacrificing herself, a worker bee can stop a larger predator in its tracks or warn the hive of an intruder. From an evolutionary standpoint, the genes she shares with her queen and hive mates are more likely to persist. This is called inclusive fitness, protecting your genetic investment, even at the cost of your own life. The barb stinger, though lethal to the individual, is a net win for the colony's survival. Six, do bees know they're going to die? This is where science meets philosophy. Do bees know what's happening when they sting? The short answer is no, not consciously. Bees don't understand cause and effect like humans. They don't sting thinking, well, guess I'm a goner. Instead, they respond to pheromones, vibrations, movement instincts. It's a reflexive behavior triggered by a perceived threat. So while it might look like a noble act of suicide, it's really just deeply programmed biology doing its thing. That said, it's hard not to get emotional. The idea that this tiny creature defends her colony with such finality strikes a powerful chord. Whether or not she's aware, her action reflects the beauty and brutality of evolution. Seven, latest data as of July, 2025. As of July, 2025, leading biology resources like Britannica and FIS.org continue to support the conclusion that only honeybees typically die after stinging. Updated field studies reaffirm that their barbed stingers evolve specifically for use against mammalian predators, not insects. The thinking is that insect intruders can be pushed out or chased, but larger threats like bears, skunks, or humans require a more aggressive approach. Fizz.org also highlighted that 99.96% of bee species globally do not die after stinging, putting the honeybee's tactic in a very small minority Recent research even suggests that the evolution of the barbed stinger was a trade-off for venom efficiency, not survivability. In other words, the goal was to ensure the venom gets delivered even if the bee dies. It's a biological gamble and the colony bets on it every time. Eight, Africanized honeybees. You've probably heard of killer bees or Africanized honeybees. Despite the scary nickname, their venom is chemically identical to that of European honeybees. What makes them dangerous is not how they sting, but how many times they do it. Africanized bees are more aggressive, more defensive, and more likely to swarm. Multiple stings from multiple bees? That's where danger escalates. Even so, Africanized honeybees follow the same rule. They die after stinging if their barbed stinger becomes embedded. So while the intensity of the attack differs, the biology doesn't. Their danger lies in numbers, not potency. Nine, what to do if you're stung? If you're stung by a bee, don't panic. Remove the stinger immediately remember. It keeps pumping venom even after the bee is gone. Use a credit card, fingernail, or anything with a flat edge to gently scrape it out. Don't squeeze it. Wash the area, apply a cold compress, and take an antihistamine if swelling occurs. If you're allergic or if you experience symptoms like difficulty breathing, Hives or dizziness seek medical help right away. Bee stings are rarely fatal to healthy individuals, but for some people, anaphylaxis is a real risk. Also, a fun but serious tip. If bees are chasing you, don't jump in water, they'll wait. Instead, run in a straight line and get inside as soon as possible. Bees lose interest when you're no longer a threat to the hive. So honeybees die after stinging because they evolved a barbed stinger that embeds in thick skin tearing their abdomen when they try to fly away. It's not a choice, but a result of evolutionary design sacrificing themselves to protect the colony. Unlike most other bees which survive stinging, honeybees take selflessness to the extreme. Their death ensures the hive's survival, making it a powerful story of biology,
bravery, and purpose. If this video moved you, literally or emotionally, give it a like, drop a comment, and subscribe for more science that hits you right in the heart. Because sometimes the smallest creatures teach us the biggest lessons.